Hi, I'm Andrew Scrivani, photographer, director, and Adobe Stock contributor. Welcome to our masterclass. Our goal here today is to help you understand that the great content you make is so much more than you can even imagine. That by going into every shoot, thinking about making versatile, marketable content will expand your reach as an artist. Today's theme is inspired by Adobe Stock's creative brief, Tastes of Heritage. This speaks to me in a very personal way because like many of you, I got started in food photography because of my love of food and the rituals that surround my family heritage. I'm Italian American and I grew up in a multi-generational immigrant household here in New York City. Learning how to tell my story was the key to understanding how to tell other stories. And for that reason, those images live long lives here at Adobe Stock. So let's get started. Here we are in a different space. Clearly, I could not fit all of you and this camera crew in my studio, so we're here. But I want to talk more about the Taste of Heritage Creative Brief and how that connects to the, the theory, the philosophy of you should shoot what you know. This fits directly into the kind of work that I do and I've done, and I want to go over some images with you to discuss it. So the visual mood of Taste of Heritage for the most part is about home cooking. And it's about the things that we have experienced in our life and how we bring that to our photography. So a photo like this speaks to me really deeply because of the fact that maybe from the countertop as a child, this was the point of view that I had of this tomato sauce being made. Something traditional, something iconic when it comes to your particular culture. So for mine as an Italian American, spaghetti and meatballs is a very iconic dish that everybody knows and is familiar with, but of course, I'm most familiar with it. My grandmother was a baker, and she would always have dough on her hands and always have dough on the table, and having hands working dough is something that I know very well and remember very well as a child. So these are the kinds of images I have in my mind, and these are the things that I've tried to bring to my photography. Bringing a human element into our photography also adds life, it adds depth. It's something that I always try to do within all of my photo shoots is at least put somebody's hands in the picture because quite honestly, the hands of your grandmother or the hands of your mother making the food, or in this case, the hands of Devin making the food, uh, also kind of adds a touch of humanity to it that really brings something of reality to our photos. Specific ingredients that speak directly to your culture, something like these zucchini flowers, which adds a touch of nostalgia to the work, in that I only remember zucchini flowers as being in my grandmother's kitchen. It's not something I've eaten in restaurants and something I've experienced, particularly raw. Those types of touches really bring that aspect of sort of your heritage and your culture and what you know about food into your photography. And of course, the iconic ingredient, the one thing that cannot be replaced in your cultural food is something that you should have an intimate relationship with, like tomatoes for me. And whether they're heirlooms or they're Roma or whatever kind of tomatoes, and I've got tons of tomato pictures in my catalog, all of those things speak to that familiarity, the thing that I've had the most experience with. For me, the color palette really speaks to the idea that where this food comes from. So it's warm, the tones are Mediterranean, the colors are rich. And I think that by you know, diving deep into that aspect of your storytelling, it really brings place to the photography. Also, when you talk about daylight, food happens in daylight. When you walk into a kitchen or you walk into a dining room and it has beautiful daylight streaming through, that's what I want food to look like. So quite honestly, when you get daylight like you do on this image, where you have spectral highlights on the spoon and you have spectral highlights on top of the meatball, that really speaks to the idea that this is happening in real life. Food photos should be layered and textured. By adding people, daylight, movement, that is texture. And I think ultimately when you're in that situation taking these pictures, they kind of happen by themselves. You don't need to create this you need to capture it. You need to let it happen and get in there and make the photo. Texture also speaks to the idea of history. 
So something as simple as a weathered board in your propping could really lend itself to the idea of legacy and heritage because old things have history. And I think sometimes when you layer your photography with things that have that sense, it adds, again, a sense of the heritage of where the food comes from. Color is also a key indicator. And it's something that really reflects the nature of where the food comes from and the kinds of foods that make your heritage unique, vibrant, alive. Again, tomatoes. If you can combine your intention to tell your story from your memories, from the things that are important to you, from your culture and from your heritage, your photography will shine. So I've told you a little bit about tapping into your memories, but let me talk to you a little bit about my memories and the way that it's influenced my work. This image here of basil, I have these very strong memories of my grandmother's garden and the smells and the sights and the light coming through the screen door. This is exactly what this makes me think of. It's what inspired this photograph and that's a really key element. Standing at countertop level as a child, looking at my grandmother making pasta by hand, that's what influences a photo like this. The light is soft. It kind of just speaks to the romance of what that particular experience was like for me. And then my mom always would make chicken cutlets for us. And this is something that it just speaks to me. And again, it's the combination of textures and light and color and the actual subject matter that makes this photo a legacy photo for me. I know I talk an awful lot about my grandmother and I, I, I know that that was a huge influence on me, but I also had a Northern Italian grandfather who taught me about making and eating polenta. So this one too also has some history to it. And I go back to the baking. The reason I enjoy baking, the reason I like to get my hands dirty and full of dough and flour is those experiences of growing up in that household where it was happening all the time. So photos like these are the kinds of things that I like to bring to the work that it's sort of second nature. And I think that's what shooting what I know represents.